What's up guys and welcome back or to the channel as you guys saw in the last video That was a long one. So hopefully you guys appreciated that um, We got the stage 2 injectors in there if you missed that there's a full like pretty much full install on those um, That we got the uh, actual like the hydro tuning this gauge pods a little loose. It's like 3d printed So I'm gonna get that secured still trying to figure some of these tunes out like Four, five, and six literally sound like they have no effect whatsoever on the truck. Um, and the TS, like the, the, the DP tuner I had, every single level of tune changed the truck. I mean, this thing sounds good, but literally three, like four, five, and six don't sound any different. So I'm gonna figure that out. It'll be a lot easier when we could drive it and I can actually tell the difference. Um, but if not, I might have to give them a call, get this thing updated, or maybe there's just some tunes missing. I don't know. Um, but even going from the whisper tune to like the race tune, it don't sound much different. So I'm interested in that. With the with what we did, there's something going on in this transmission. I've just been trying to idle this thing as much as I can, um, get all the 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 residue from the the oil and stuff out of the cylinders, let that burn off, get the haze out of there, you know, fresh injectors, let that run through. Um, there's a lot of oil that's kind of coated the pipe, so that's going to take a minute to burn off, and then uh, it should burn clean again. But um, we're going to dig into this tranny. So underneath this truck, I think we, I believe this should be, if this is all clean, this should be a 4R100 tranny. Um, I believe they changed from the 4090 whatever in like for these trucks um, to the 4R100, both of which aren't very impressive. I know the 5R110s or whatever, um, those are pretty stout because we've tuned a whole bunch of those back in the day and beat them out of some 6Os and they hold up pretty well. Ever since I bought this truck, like I said, I'd put it in from like park to reverse or park to drive. There'd be a pause. It would kind of not lock in enough. So doing some research, I don't know if we actually blew the tranny because the fluid smells fine. It looks fine. It's just, you know, it's red. Um, but I just don't think we're getting any pressure. So on the forums, a couple people with the same symptoms as me, there's a couple bolts in here holding something above something in, um, and those three bolts kind of have a tendency to come loose and then you lose all pressure to your transmission. So we're gonna check that out. Oh, did not want to do that. But you lose all pressure to your tranny if those bolts are loose or whatever after time. So we're going to check that out. Converter doesn't sound too happy, but also very well. Like, if there's no fluid running through the tranny, that could be something too. But we're going to dig into this, drop this pan, check it out, see what we're dealing with, and kind of fabricate a plan on what we're going to do um, to get this thing, get this thing working again. Definitely sucks, especially on old trucks but kind of part of the game you deal with high mileage things cheap things beat things um, you're gonna be repairing and doing a lot to these trucks to get them the way you want however the old things they're fun easy to work on all the above so this should be easy and if we need to fully rebuild this tranny I'm like this close to ordering a rebuild kit and attempting it myself just because you know I've never done it and I think I think it would be fun so Let's get into this, see what we're dealing with, and uh, go from there. Uh, looks like a bunch of 10 mils and a 13 for the drain plug, so I'm gonna drain this, pull all these 10s, drop the pan, and see where we're at. Okay guys, so kind of weird, the dipstick showed red fluid. Down here at the bottom, this isn't, I mean, obviously it gets used, but look at that. I guess that's a good reference. It's definitely a little brown. So maybe we did smoke the entire thing. Maybe we did. I don't know. I'm hoping this stops soon, because we're about to hit this crack. Um, in the bucket, but man, it's, that sucks. It
Yeah, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> okay. Nice. That's all I wanted. There's a good amount of stuff down here, sludge on the um the magnet. It's nothing crazy. It looks like normal clutch material. Um, doing with what you know, how, literally. When I blew the tranny out of my 06 Ram, it, it just, you could, I don't know, it just went. Um, and you felt it, and you're like, uh. But this, this is weird. So a lot of people on the forums, they do talk about the feed bolts being loose. Um, or falling out. In that in case, you know, that case, it will give you no no feed pressure at all. So the tranny won't act as it should. I'm going to pull this valve body out of the tranny right now. A um, couple tens, mostly eights. Um, we're gonna pull this valve body out. They do make upgraded valve bodies, so I'm gonna check on these feed bolts. I'd hate to kind of fully build this tranny underneath here, the external parts, and not build the internal parts, um, and then put it back together and it actually not fix and something else is the problem. But I'm gonna start with this valve body. We can pull this off, check those feed bolts that could be missing, gone, all of that. This valve body should be full of fluid. They make upgraded ones and some other stuff as well. But I'm gonna see what we got going here because if I pull this out, those are loose. Um, then I'll start making some kind of decisions based on what other people have experienced and all that. Some people say tighten the feed bolts, you know, new filter, new fluid, uh, you know, new solenoid pack, some of that stuff, and their training issues are gone. So I'm hoping that's it. Um, I don't know about the torque converter though, so we're gonna see. Like I said, some some weird some weird issues this whole time um, have got me to this place. So we just gotta figure it out. But yeah, it's all these uh, eight mil bolts in here. I'm gonna get covered in it. Don't lose any of these. Just like I did there. Guess that's not a bad place for him. That's the ten. <laughs> Two tens. It should be full of fluid still, so we're gonna get covered, I think. Okay, after all that, it's gonna pour some fluid. Valve body's coming off, that's good, great. That fluid looks a lot cleaner. <clears throat> yeah. does. Okay guys, obviously there's some 
don't mind the asphalt chippings in here, but um, this is about all the sludge that was on this magnet. Um, I'm gonna go on a limb. I mean, that's just like normal material. It's nothing ex excessive, nothing crazy. It's not like there's a whole bunch of metal down here. There's not really any metal shavings. It's just that, you know, that, that clutch material, that friction material that just, you know, kind of comes off um, naturally. So I wouldn't say the training itself is super smoked slash out of hand because if this is all that's came off in uh, like 274,000 miles, um, I would hope the training fluid got changed before, but even if it's in the last hundred, this I don't think this is abnormal, I guess I should say that. So we should be good there. Look at that, attached to the magnet. I found another check ball. Ooh. But um, yeah, like I said, I don't think this is abnormal. Should be um, decent. We're gonna get this thing cleaned out and we actually got a storm coming. So I'm gonna go throw this pan back on. Not that it's really gonna do much, but you know, just from any water splashing on the ground, don't wanna really get it up in there. I don't find that too crazy, so I think we may be a-okay. Like I said, I'm not crossing my fingers and I'm not saying that the, the bolts are 100% gonna fix this. Maybe a smoked converter, hopefully not a tranny. Um, obviously, you guys in the comments below, I know a lot of you are gonna have opinions and oh this has happened to me yeah yeah but very well the same symptoms have happened to me some people have tightened those bolts they've been good to go um people have tightened those bolts and the converter was smoked people have tightened the bolts and then after that completely rebuilt the transmission so there's probably a slew of issues we may have one we may have them all so that's what we're trying to diagnose here um, and I also kind of notice how we're diagnosing this ourselves before we took it somewhere and we're like, hey, diagnose this and then we know what to fix. So I'm gonna try this one at a time. I'm gonna try build the tranny bottom up. Um, I'll get to those valve bodies in a second, show you what's going on. But I'm gonna try to build the tranny bottom up and uh, if I put all this back together, it runs great, it drives, it hauls, it stomps, like it shifts, it holds then obviously we're good. But if I still can do that, torque converter's acting up, not locking, doing weird stuff, very well, we may need a torque converter, and very well, that could be it as well. Torque converter and, you know, the bolts and what we're doing here. Um, we may not even have to touch the tranny completely, so that would be pretty cool, but um, a little more uh, diagnosing, I guess, to go on. What's right there? All right, guys, so here's what we're dealing with. Here's the, um, I don't know how this goes. I know this is the one that people upgrade all the time. Uh, this is the one where you can actually buy upgraded ones, ready to slap in, um, and all of that. So we're definitely gonna look into upgrading this. I think this is your, your first to second. This, I think, is your, your third, fourth, and overdrive. This, I don't know 100% what this is. Um, and then this is obviously your solenoid pack. So we definitely need a new one of these. This was actually snapped off or snapped off um, coming out. So regardless, these are non-serviceable. You gotta replace them anyway, slash you might as well if you take them out. This, this can be uh, replaced as well. We're gonna get a new tran, you know, tranny filter in there, um, especially with how the fluid was. Um, there's that, this gasket thing, uh, those definitely come to, uh, come in the kits. All of these, I think we finally located all of our uh, check balls. This spring goes to um, something where people actually delete it because this is a trans cooler situation. So we'll figure out what to do with that, what the best setup is for this tranny. Any of you in the comments below, let me know as well because I know there's a lot of you out there who know these four are um, 100s, like the back of your hand. So kind of give me the best setup for right now if that's all it truly was where those bolts were actually loose so if that's the case tighten them up how do i rebuild the bottom end of this perfectly um i know they have shift kits and i know they have like those upgraded valve bodies but i guess the rest of it between this this one um and this one because i know this one can be upgraded and this one obviously can needs to be new but um this one and uh this one here let me know what i can do and how i can upgrade this or whatever i can on the bottom end of this tranny before i go and slap this all back together um because i want to get some parts going so when i put it back together actually whether it's just a shift kit whether it's you know an upgraded valve body regardless um i want to do something to that 
just to give me a little better driving experience if that's truly all that it was, was those stupid feed bolts. But if that's the case, and this goes back together and it drives great, sweet. If not, we got a built lower end of the tranny, and then we'll swap out the torque converter and whatever else we need to do piece for piece instead of going ripping that out, because that's what I feel like a lot of you guys do. You take the tranny in, you get it, you, you say, hey, my tranny's acting up. They'll sit there, they'll quote you at a whole new rebuild. They'll rebuild the tranny for 3,000 bucks, and literally I've seen a handful of horror stories on the forums where people take their tranny in, have three, four, five thousand dollar bills, um, invoices, trust me, I get it, it's a lot of work, parts do cost, I know like the billet drum is like 700 bucks, rebuild kits already like 1200 bucks, 800 bucks, depending on what kind of stage you go to, but the labor to do so, I understand why they are expensive, trust me, but you could probably save a lot of that money because you don't need a whole tranny rebuild, um, just based on those two, you know, two or three bolts, and, and little things like this, you know, upgrading your valve body, doing stuff like that, um, and your transmission is perfectly fine. So, um, yeah, let me know any of you guys in the comments below. Take this as a stock transmission. Everything's fine. Nothing's, nothing's at fault. How do I upgrade this lower end perfectly um, to support kind of what I'm doing? Like I said, I'm not trying to, it, it's a 7.3. It's a 7.3, not a 6.0. It's not a lot of horsepower. With the injectors and all this stuff, we're maybe four or 500 horsepower max. It max like those injectors support up to 400 and I don't even have the h-pop to do so so like a transmission that holds 500 horse is probably all we really need in general so I don't even think I need a triple disc converter because that's good for like 1100 horse it's a 7.3 like I said so anything to get me to about 500 horse a little bit more than the motors putting out I think that's perfect so let me know um, any of your guys' kind of opinions on what we can do here um, to get this thing beefed up. Um, I know there's a lot of you who have done this before. Um, so let me know in the comments below and we'll get this thing running in no time. I'm gonna try and go through this, order all these parts um, tonight um, that I think fit. And if there's anything else that you guys recommend, um, we'll get that coming as well. And we'll get that 7.3 thrown back together. And while we're on the topic of Ford, check out the Bronco. It's fully stripped naked, the top's off. We got the, I mean, that's what's cool because they're frameless. It almost makes it look like half doors in here. Um, that's pretty sweet. This thing's kind of fun. I don't know. It, it's super weird because right now I legitimately don't have any parts even coming till probably July. I know a lot of you are like, where's the Bronco? Well, here she is. I drive her every so often. Um, but other than that, literally lift kit, that won't ship till July. And, and other than the lift kit being there, I do have a set of power brakes. Um, coming big brake upgrade kit can't put those on till the 24s are on here anyway um, there's a couple of other upgrades we can do to this in the meantime yes the color does need to change still to si still actually fully deciding on a color which is absolutely crazy but still deciding on that and uh, we'll, we'll figure that out soon because I kind of want this thing painted and all the color changed and all that before we even um, uh, lift this thing because I'd rather not dirty up and get dust all over a clean, clean powder coated suspension. So I know a lot of you just wanted an update on the Bronco, but here she is. It's fun, it's super fun. Um, I just want to get this thing lifted because driving it on these Steelys, it's super cool. It really is. It, it just, you know, gets around town, but um, it kind of defeats the wow factor um, when this thing's going to be lifted like seven inches on some gigantic tires. So yeah, want to give you guys a little update on that while we tear that thing apart. So, yeah guys, um, I'm going to get those parts ordered for the transmission. We can get that thing thrown back together um, in no time, hopefully. Get that thing back on the road. Hopefully it doesn't need a converter. Um, and hopefully we're good to go. But yeah, stuff for this should be here sooner than later. Um, and other than that, guys, I think that's going to do it for today's video and the mess we just kind of dealt with but um if you guys enjoyed this video shoot a thumbs up if you haven't been here before please get down there click subscribe drop me a comment if you haven't already take care and i will see you guys in the next video hopefully that's 7-3 we'll kind of be minty again see you guys soon